Former CBN Governor Godwin Amifile is now back in the custody of the Department of State Security. And this was after more than a three-hour standoff between DSS officials and operatives of the Nigeria Correctional Service over who should take custody of the defendant. Mr. Amifile is standing trial on two counts of alleged illegal gun possession, which he pleaded not guilty to. In a dramatic twist of events, DSS operatives roughed up a prison's commander, toys, buttons, and threw him out of the court premises. The commander was trying to comply with the order of Justice Nicolas Owebo, who granted Mr. Mefile bail and remanded him in the custody of the Koyi Correctional Center pending the satisfaction of his bail. But the DSS operatives insisted that they had orders to take a Mefile notwithstanding the court order. We're following this story very closely and we'll bring you more updates in our subsequent bulletins. Thanks for joining us on the program. I am Nifemi Oguntoye. President Bola Tinubu now has three more days as provided by law to send his ministerial list to the National Assembly for screening. And that's 57 days after he took the oath of office as the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You can join the conversation right now. Remember to use uh, the hashtag first 100 days on Twitter, tag at TVC News NG and at Nifemi Oguntoye. Coming up on the show today, I'm joined by Ogun State Governor Dapwa Biodo, who will be discussing government's full subsidy interventions across board and particularly in Ogun State. Also joining us is the Chairman Senate Committee on Media and Publicity, Senator Yemi Adaramudu to discuss controversies about the National Assembly spendings, particularly the 70 billion era of the 2022 Supplementary Appropriation Act and the proposed 40 billion era to buy exotic and bulletproof cars for 469 lawmakers. Now let's begin. A group of concerned Nigerians on the Forensic Politics and Governor's Twitter Spaces platform has written a letter to both arms of the National Assembly after gathering over 2,000 signatures. I spoke with a member of the group yesterday on the show who questioned the sensitivity of the National Assembly to the plight of many Nigerians and the need to stop the move to allocate 70 billion naira to improve working conditions or what the Senate spokesperson calls renovation of the National Assembly complex and also the 40 billion naira that is widely alleged uh, to have been earmarked for procurement of vehicles for members. We're supposed to have the Senate, the Chairman Senate Committee on Media and Publicity, uh, Senator Yemi Adaramodu, yesterday. He promised to join us today, but we can't reach him as we speak. Hopefully, he's fine. But let's go through some reactions that we're getting on Twitter to better understand this development and the questions Nigerians are asking. Shogo Omo Oshun says, National Assembly should lead the campaign for the patronage of made in Nigeria products. 40 billion naira to purchase cars made in other countries is too bogus. The National Assembly should patronize Nigerian made car companies in order to cut the cost of buying vehicles. And for Madhu Butu Woko, he says, kindly ask Senator Adora Modu as we get to the appropriation of the 40 billion naira, why? Uh, was not mortals or innocent not considered for the aforementioned procurement as that could have saved us a lot of ethics and not stress the Naira. There are lots of reactions following this development. For Adebisi Adeni, he says the masses are to endure the hardship and pains as said by the presidency and leadership of the National Assembly. But what will Nas endure? Big question. For Dekin Niger, he says, Mr. Chairman, sir, we, the Nigerian people, want like to know the real truth about the 70 billion naira, and the National Assembly must say uh, they go they buy new cars for 40 billion naira of Nigeria's money, and if not, why are they not patronizing Nigeria or Nigeria-made motor manufacturers based on current economic realities? Adibo Igabiola says, thank you for the opportunity to ask questions again, Mr. Senator. Nigerians have been advised to sacrifice. What will the NAS sacrifice? Do you think the allocation is justifiable considering that Nigeria is, what Nigeria is going through 
Can't members use their personal cars at this period? Interesting questions there for the National Assembly. Unfortunately, for the second time running, we can uh, get a hold on the Senate spokesperson who had given us his word earlier today to be a part of the show. So, possibly.